of the Lord. Good evening, everybody. God bless you all in Jesus' glorious name. It is 8.59 p.m. And I'm just sitting here in a McDonald's car park. Pulled over here. So Lala can go do wee-wees. And, um... I will sing, yay. See that car there? The one on the right? That one there? There's a Nozzy guy hopped out of that car. Probably before we got here because I saw him walking around and he was walking up to all the people that were sitting inside and outside of the McDonald's. And I think he was asking them for money and they were just ignoring him or like showing him away. And then as soon as I pulled up here, he walked right up to my window right here. And I opened the window just a little bit, just a little bit, you know, just to be on the safe side. And he said something, I couldn't really hear him. I said, sir, I can't hear you. Do you need help? Are you okay? And he goes, oh, yeah. He goes, I, I need a few bucks. I go, what do you need? Are you hungry? He goes, yeah, I need to get some petrol. I'm stuck here. I need to get home. And I need some food. And I said, okay, I'll help you. And I got out and I walked towards the uh, McDonald's entrance and I said, what do you want to eat? And he goes, oh, I, I just need money for petrol. I said, but aren't you hungry? And he goes, yeah, I want some food. I said, what would you like to eat? And I, I think he just wanted the money and I, I was just straight up. I said, do you want to get on, do you? Which is Australian slang for... Do you want to buy drugs? And he kind of like laughed like he was a bit embarrassed, like he was caught out. And he goes, yeah, I want to do that too. And I said, well, I'm happy to buy you some food, but I'm not going to give you money to get on. There he is there, that guy there. Please pray for that man. Please pray in Jesus' name that he is delivered. Anyway, um, I went in and I said, what would you like to eat? And he said he wanted a McChicken. So I got him a McChicken meal. And I went and handed it to him. And he said, thank you. And then I said to him, I said, look, I want to witness to you right now. I said, I was a heroin and methadone addict for 27 years. And it's been five years now since Jesus set me free. And he goes, yeah, yeah, I'm trying. I said, look, you can't do it on your own strength. I can't. Nobody can. It's impossible. We're in spiritual warfare. It's demonic. I said, you, you, you can go see all the doctors, you know, rehab, detox, AA, NA meetings, whatever, whatever. It's not going to work. It's designed to fail. I said, Jesus can set you free. And he wouldn't even look at me. It was like he was just getting annoyed and he just wanted to go. But I, I, I just kept going and I said, look, you know, I fell on my knees and, and called out to Jesus and said, Jesus, help me, help me, Jesus, take away the withdrawal, take away the pain, take away the design. I said, you know what? He did. It's been five years since he set me free and I'm clean. I said, he can do that for you too. I said, can I pray for you? And he just looked away and he just, he just wanted to go. He seemed irritated. He didn't want to hear about Jesus. I said, look, when you go, just call out and say, Jesus, I don't know you, but I need you. Help me, Lord. Jesus, help me. Get me off the drugs. And he just didn't seem interested. And when he walked off, I said, Jesus, please help that man. Or, oh, I forgot to mention, while I was waiting to get the man's food, and they'll be powering it. I stepped outside the McDonald's. See where these cars are going here? They're going up to that drive through there. I stood right there and there was a whole row of cars in the line waiting to go into the drive through. And I just raised my voice. And I said, well, today it's Friday. It's Good Friday. Did you know that Jesus gave up his life on the cross at Calvary, shed his innocent blood and died on that cross, was buried three days and rose to life? 
to keep me and you and everybody out of hell and to make a way back to the Father. And I told them John 3, 16, I said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Do not gamble with your soul salvation. Jesus loves you so much. And I'm here to witness to you that I was a drug addict for 27 years and I've been set free and clean for five years. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. And these young ladies were looking at me. They are looking at me like I was weird. And I looked straight at him and I said, Jesus loves you so much. Seek him in prayer and repentance. If you died tonight, where will you be? Will you be in his kingdom? Or will you be in hellfire? I said, if you're not covered by the blood of Christ, you will not make it, my friend. And I just kept repeating it. And then I went and got the guy's food and gave it to him. I love telling people about Jesus. Jesus is so good to us. Um, yeah, so Lola and I have to sleep in this car tonight. And I don't know where we're going to go tomorrow, but I'm going through some heavy spiritual warfare. And... I just had the massive urge just to get out of there. Just put Lola in the car and go. Just go. I just took some insulin with me. I took a bit of water. I don't even ever change of clothes. Like, look, I'm in a pair of shorts and a T-shirt. It says Jesus is King. Lola's got the blanket, but it's okay. I've got to keep Fatty Bum Bum warm. Um... We're going to have to stay in the car tonight and try and work something out tomorrow. But please, please keep us in your prayers that Jesus protects us from everything and everything evil. Keeps his hand on us. And um, yeah, I left him my community post. I left a PayPal link if the Lord puts it on your heart to help us. Um, I truly appreciate that. If not, just please keep us in your prayer. That's more important than anything. I love each and every one of you. And also, I ask that you please keep our sister Lorna Caulfield in prayer. Her dad has been rushed to Liverpool Hospital again and he's he's dying. And the doctors and nurses will not release him. He's expressed strongly that he does not want to die in that hospital. He wants to go home and die there with his family. And he's good with the Lord, but they're holding him hostage. It's just horrible. Please pray. For the family. Merciful, thou wilt show okay. thyself merciful. I love you all in Jesus' name. Thou wilt show thyself upright.